Should Todd Gurley be wearing number 21 for the Falcons? There are any number of things that make me feel old on a daily basis, but very few of them are as jarring as Deion Sanders having a Santa Claus beard. Deion Sanders says he was joking about the idea that Todd Gurley couldn't wear his number 21, but I don't think he should have been joking. I think it's offensive that Steve Bartkowski and William Andrews and Jeff Van Note and Tommy Novus are the only guys who have their numbers retired in Atlanta Falcons history. You can make the argument, never mind the Falcons, that Deion Sanders is the best athlete in the history of Atlanta sports. And nobody should be wearing that number as a Falcon except Deion Sanders. That should be retired already. It shouldn't even be Todd Gurley's choice. Yeah, I mean, I'm not offended if he puts the number on. There have been a lot of other players who are a lot worse than Todd Gurley who have worn 21 after Deion Sanders. So it's a weird time to stop and complain about it now when an actual all-pro player steps in. But I was just looking at old Deion Sanders tape today when I got this note, and he was incredible. I thought you were going to say one of the best athletes in the history of the world because that is also accurate. He is that good. His first game, I watched this today, he muffed the first punt they kicked to him, muffed the second punt they kicked to him, and then took it to the crib. He was unconscious. As far as being an athlete, he could have been the best at just about any position, at just about any sport, and then put on top of it, his swag and charisma became kind of the model. He was the prototype that everyone's kind of flavor is based on today in professional sports, from basketball to football to anything else. It's kind of built on the thing that Deion Sanders may not have created, but popularizes this kind of cocky, overconfident, except for him, it was real. The rest of us are just kind of faking a little bit. All right, now, hold on now. Deion only played for the Falcons for five years, right? That's a big reason why his jersey is not retired. I think the strongest argument for not retiring his jersey for the Falcons is you was there while Charles Demery was getting lit up for five touchdowns by Jerry Rice and didn't do a damn thing to help. I'm assuming that John Taylor didn't do anything that day. You know what? (laughs) That was probably good. That probably helped, right? But you – Toast gave up five touchdowns and D.I. was nowhere to be found. You talk about retiring his jersey. Now, I think they actually treat his jersey in a way that is kind of better than retirement, which is they don't give it to just anybody. The first Falcon I remember that they gave 21 to after D.I. left was D'Angelo Hall. The next one I remember them giving it to was Desmond Trufant. Like, there was a meaning to that number that you're going to be the next quarter that we have. Keep in mind that in the years that D.I. was with the Falcons, the secondary was still always terrible. Anyway, if I'm Todd Gurley, I don't want 21. And the reason I don't want 21 is we all remember Dion as being the fastest dude in the history of the world, basically. We try to remember when Todd Gurley used to be fast. The last thing that Ty Gurley needs is to be out there in Dion Sanders' number, out here running like, what's another Sanders? Charlie Sanders, Colonel Sanders, whichever one of them you want to pull out there, all them jokes is going to come out because you now have that number 21. I'm not disparaging the greatness of Dion. I'm just saying that if you're going to talk Dan. about retiring his jersey, we got to get to the particulars of the situation. Dan, I know that you've heard Bomani say this about the Falcons many times. I'm off that narcotic. It appears that the quarantine like it. It has, never sounds like it. The quarantine never, has now, sent him back to that narcotic. Because that's you asking me about the times when I was on the narcotic. <laughs> I can tell you what it was like to be on the narcotic. I don't give a damn about nobody they got on the team right now. <laughs> But you still care about the team, and you are highly offended. I'm telling you, y'all don't get it. I do not care about what happens to that team anymore. I just hate the Saints.